I'm Francois from Kawai Safaris, and I've been hunting in Africa all my life. Together with my partner Eric and our professional guides, we guide everyday American hunters to hunt the dozens of species that our beautiful dark continent has to offer. This is Getaway to Africa. So we're here at Safari Outdoor, uh, just outside of Johannesburg. I'm here with Charnay, who's gonna help us explain. We're talking about hearing protection when you're hunting. Obviously with, with large caliber rifles that we hunt with in Africa, unless you have a suppressor on your rifle, which here of course is, is legal in, in the US, it's harder to obtain. So most of our clients that come over have rifles that are unsuppressed. Um, this is obviously um, an issue when it comes to hearing protection. So there's two thoughts about hearing pr protection while you're hunting. The first thing is if you don't wear hearing protection, obviously this will damage your hearing, which is the main reason why hearing protection was, was developed for the hunting industry in the first place. The second thought is it's very cumbersome to have hearing protection in all the time. You don't know when you're gonna shoot, you get off the truck, you're stalking an animal, you got your hearing protection on. So you obviously need the best that you can afford because you wanna make sure that you can hear everything that goes on around you. Um, it's warm sometimes, it's very hot, you're sweaty. So there's, there's a whole train of thought behind what you use and what you don't use. So Charnay is gonna help us explain um, the various different kinds of hearing protection and, and how easy or how difficult this is to use while you're hunting in Africa. Charnay, if you wanna pass us the, the bigger one. Uh, what is this that we're looking at? So you're looking at the Candwell X-Max Pro one. It is like just normal headphone sets that you have. It is four hours running time that you are using, nice and comfortable. You can put it in your backpack, always have it on you. All right, so the advantage of this is this is the total hearing protection. Um, most, most shooters in the US have something similar to this. This is very nice because it's got um, a volume adjustment. Um, the disadvantage to this, it's, it's very cumbersome, it's very thick. If it's, if it's hot out, it's gonna be sweaty, but very, very much um, a necessity, something similar to this or smaller, and this is where we're going with that. All right, so Shonae, the second one, um, Explain to us what this is. Okay, so this is the same brand, Kenwell. It is the Emax Shadow. Basically, it's like a normal earpods that you still use, but for shooting. Which is nice about this, this is rechargeable. It comes in a small pot that you can always carry with you. What's nice about it, it's nice and small, and it doesn't cover your ears when you're hunting in a hot place. All right, so once again, um, Bluetooth. You can, you can have your phone connected to it or, or something similar. Um, the advantages to this is, is it's in your ear, it doesn't cover your entire ear. It's easy to take in and out, it's easy to put into a pocket or a backpack while you're hunting. So um, in our experience, much easier to use in the field than the over ear protection that you get. All right, then um, these two sets here, Charnay. Okay, so you're looking at something very much smaller, very much something you can carry every day with you actually on your keychains or something like that. Also, it is nice for your ears, nice and comfortable, nice and small. All right, obviously the price tag, this is way cheaper, it's non-electronic. You put this, it's got a little keychain there that you can put onto something or a gun belt or your binoculars. The disadvantage to this obviously is you do not hear anything else that's going on. It muffles most of the sound while you're hunting. All right, and then last, we've got Lastly, we have the Allen set. It is much smaller, as you can see, than the other ones. Like I said, it buffers everything out otherwise. All right, thank you, Charnay. So obviously, this is, this is bottom of the range. This goes in your ear. It's got a little cord hangs around your neck, and you plug this into your ear right when you take the shot and take it out once you've fired your gun. So our preference, if you have to look at all of these options, would be something like this, small and light, um, rechargeable that goes in your ear and you can still adjust the volume to have 
a conversation as per normal. You can hear everything that you're doing. You can hear the animals. And um, obviously, when you look at hunting in Africa, everything has to be comfortable. You're walking a lot, taking everything into account. Um, something that is in your ear would definitely be a preference for us. The Getaway Series is proudly sponsored by Crown Precision Arms. All right, guys, um, this happened so fast. I didn't even have time for an interview if the cameraman can get this going. It's, it's shaking. Um, we're actually on the track of a blue wallabies. Mm. We did see a bull at the back. I won't say it was a world record bull, nice bull. And then all of a sudden, this massive impala walked in front. Run us through the rest of it while you're shaking. Yeah, it, um, well. <laughs> It was so quick, but it was so quick, but then it was slow because it was quick on the <laughs> sticks. And then there was this other Impala and we had to wait for him to move. And he took off and then the other one was clear, but then he moved again. Right and in I front knew, of him, I mean. And I knew that second, the second that he moved and stopped, I had just a very, very quick second to take that shot right there, so. Yeah. How far was the shot? Ah, uh, really close. <laughs> <laughs> they walked right into us. They never knew we were here. Mm -hmm. that, that, that's the recipe of a good stalk. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you. Um, we'll go check it out. I'm 100% sure it's down. Soy dropping. Hold on. <laughs> thank you. It's a big <laughs> There's a doorknob. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. What a beautiful impala. I hope we can see this on the camera. Look at the, the, the difference in color here. Look mm -hmm. at the dark back, lighter, yeah. and then the white. It's, it's an old one. I mean, there were two there, and this one was just darker and bigger, and it's definitely the old one in between them. Well done. Thank you. <laughs> Oof, it's a beautiful ram. Look at that. Mm. Oh, yeah. Good job, Gloria. Gloria, first of all, congratulations <laughs> on a very big Impala Ram. Thank um, you. You already measured it. It's on 23 inches, mm. which is magnificent. Mm. Well done. Um, this was a very exciting hunt. As soon as it went down, you said it happened so fast. <laughs> it was usually don't happen this fast. So yes. I think um, I would like you to explain to us the hunt, why it happened so fast, how it happened so fast. Bunch of animals out here. Mm. We literally just did a stalk for whatever we can get and this beautiful impala just Stepped came into out, it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yes, very fast. It felt like 20 seconds overall. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, it felt like 20 seconds to get to where we saw him and then it felt like, like a lifetime after that while I was on the sticks um, because we saw not only this, or a couple impalas, mm -hmm. but blue wildebeest in the back, which is also an animal that we were going for. Um, kind of almost had a chance at both of them, but the blue wildebeest just wasn't quite what we were looking for, but then this impala stepped out and you said that is the one, yeah, that's I, the one. Two of them actually stepped out and yes. the one kept in front of the other, but they were grazing towards, towards us. us. <laughs> yes, <laughs> no, right directly at us. Um, and. Like I said, I, it felt like I was on the sticks for forever and just waiting, waiting, waiting for that one to move. And that one um, 
bolted to the side. Yeah. And then this one didn't quite follow it right away. It actually stepped off to the other side. And I knew that that shot, it was, had to be like that. Cause he was about to also go. Good job. And, and he shot it eventually, spotting them out on about 110 yards. Yeah. He finally shot it at around 40 yards, yeah. I would say. <laughs> Which is great. I mean, it's not always about long range. And right. Stalking in thick brush like this. Yeah. It happens. Yes. Uh, perfectly. <laughs> perfect shot. It dropped right in the tracks. I think we need to mention the color of this Impala specifically. Yeah. Dark back skin, lighter part in the middle and then a white belly. Yeah. This one is really nice and dark, which just shows its age and, you know, it, it's, yes. it's a beautiful animal. Yes. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> what a beautiful animal. Great shooting. <laughs> Thank you. I've been cooking in the bush for pretty much 30 years. One of my favorite recipes to do over an open fire is a steak and kidney pie in a big black cast iron pot over the open fire with fresh oryx. This is oryx backstrap and oryx kidneys. We got four kidneys here of an oryx. You put that onto into the pot and you, you, you make a stew out of that and you cover that with puff pastry makes an incredible pie right over the fire. And I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. So we got onions, we got olive oil, we got some fresh cream, we got tomato and onion stew mix. We got garlic in pretty much everything that we cook. Uh, we got barbecue spice. We've got brown onion soup to make it a little bit thicker. And then we have um, onions. Corey, um, we hunted together the last few days. Oh, yes, um, sir. We had lots of fun. You start chopping the onion for us. All right. I need the small little cubes. All right, and then um, we'll get going with that. I'm going to get the pot on the fire with some olive oil. We, we, I pushed the, the burning logs onto one side. I've got some nice coals here ready for our pot. We're going to put a grid on the fire. And we're going to start heating up that pot very nicely. We got a cast iron pot. This is pretty much essential to any cooking in Africa. It's gonna heat up pretty nicely and we'll get some olive oil in there for our onions. There we go. Dumping it into the pot. Now we're gonna cut up the steak. This is pretty much an entire Oryx backstrap. We're not gonna use all of it. I'm gonna use about this much. I think that should do the trick with the kidneys. You can cut them once in the middle, right down the middle. And then we want pretty much like half inch or less than an inch cubes. If you do that for me, I'll yes, start stirring the pot. I got you, I got you. There's okay. a very specific way to cut a kidney. You see it's got this, this thin membrane on the outside. So yep. I always cut them like this from the top to the bottom, and then you fillet it open, and you basically just peel it out. Okay, Corey, we've got the onions nice and caramelized. Yes, sir. We're gonna throw the kidneys in. It's gonna sizzle a little bit. You can stir that through. We want this uh, these kidneys to go for a few minutes before we put the steak in. We're gonna put uh, quite a bit of garlic in there. Oh, yes. There we go. And then I'm going to throw some barbecue spice. We're going to put the steak in here. This is the Oryx backstrap. You can stir that through for us. The secret ingredient, chutney. I'm going to put that in right now. Chutney. What is up. chutney? Chutney is a peach preserve. Oh. Pretty much like a jam. The next ingredient is the tomato and onion mix. It's like chopped tomato and onion in a can. We're gonna close this up with the lid. We're gonna put some cream in here. This is nice and thick. Ooh, that's really good. And we're gonna stir that through. We'll let that simmer for about 10 minutes. 
and then we'll put the pastry on. The last thing we do is we put the puff pastry on. Okay. We stretch it out a bit and you get this all over it. Stuck it in there and we just poke a few holes in it. That's perfect. And then we put the lid on. And then we put some coals on top. We we'll put this right on the lid. That's perfect. And then we leave it for 20 minutes. We're done. We're taking the coals off. All right, let's see what happens. Oh, perfection. Good job. The proof of the pudding is in the eating. Mm -hmm. I'm get you some of this pie over here. Steak and kidney pie. Mm -hmm. Okay. Typical uh, African style. Oryx steak and Oryx kidney. There we go. Mmm. That's good. The Getaway Series is proudly sponsored by Crown Precision Arms. Crown Precision Arms, where every shot counts. Our rifles are designed to be reliable, durable, and accurate, giving you the confidence to take your shot every time. Corey. Yes, sir. If you want to talk about blood, sweat, and tears, oh. it was a hump today. Yes, sir, it was. It was. Um, I think I'm still sweating. It's been two or three hours since the hunt. <laughs> oh, yeah. Came out here, you had a water buck. On yes, mine. sir. First day, second day, third day, we went out, tried for it, got close a couple of times, ready to get just, it. And just couldn't make it happen. Just couldn't make it happen. As luck will have it, Last day magic. Last day. Last, last day. couple of minutes of um, We were 10 daylight. minutes from dark. Yeah. Yeah. Last day magic. We bump into this big water buck bull. Oh, yes, sir. We did. Persistence paid off. But I'm going to let you tell the story. Once again, I've told multiple people here, like, I have stories to tell from this trip alone that nobody's going to believe. That's right. If I don't have pictures or videos, <laughs> it's not even believable. And this hunt is in that category. This water buck was, it was a yeah. crazy hunt. It's unreal, it. unreal. And then, like I said, we're just, we're walking, we're walking. And then it's like, okay, okay. And then at one point, we were, we were crouched down. And then it was, okay, we need to go fast, go fast. <laughs> so we're not running upright. We're running in a crouched position and we're running and we're running. I already get the shakes when I see a pretty animal. Cause I, I don't know what's good and what's not. So when you get excited, I get excited. And I saw that you were excited. So I'm like, all right, well, I'm excited. And then we finally, finally, it probably wasn't, but maybe a mile, mile and a half that we were after this, uh, the water buck. And we finally got the shot. And it's like, okay. So I'm, my heart's already pounding, cause we're running. And then my heart's pounding even more, cause it's a beautiful water buck. And then I finally get up there, and then I'm, I'm trying to get my breasts. Trying to get my breasts. I got him, squeezed. <laughs> Let's just check it quickly. Yeah, he babe okay. now. Hold on, man. <clears throat> Take a look at the animal. Congratulations. <laughs> Beauty. Oh, it's a nice one. <laughs> Hell yeah. <clears throat> Corey. Yes, sir. As you can tell, we're both out of breath. Yes. <laughs> Very Magnificent much so. water buck. Yes, sir. Last light, literally last oh, light. Last day, last light, we made magic happen, and I love it. It's all because of you. It's on you. You're the best, bro. 
Thank you, and I appreciate it. And um, I want to get to this quickly before the light catches yes, us. Yes, sir. We'll this was something you were looking for specifically. Yes, sir. And Most we hunted definitely. hard for it. We did, we did. Sorry, I'm out of breath, man. I'm me so excited too. It's for okay. you. It's it's me too. I'm out of breath, breath too, man. <laughs> Congratulations. Good shot. Yes, sir. 205 yards. And we went about 50, 60 yards. Which oh, yeah, think, yeah. Made hmm. a great shot. It's quartered away. I thought I hit him a little low, but I actually hit it perfect. We, uh, we saw him, it was, it was like it was uh, two or three of them. Mm -hmm. The big one was in front, and this one was in front, and we knew that's the one we wanted. So as right. soon as we saw him, we knew that's the one. I don't know to get excited until I say you get excited. <laughs> when you get excited, then I get excited, because it's like, okay, this is a good one, because I don't know what a good one is, that's but you right. do. That's so when right. you get excited, I get excited, and then my heart's pumping. We're running, we're walking. At one point, we were crawling, and then he finally, we almost had an opportunity, but we missed it. And then it was another couple hundred yards. I think it was probably 500, 700 yards. We were stalking, we were following him. We finally got the shot, quarter and away, perfect, pow. Laid him down, he ran 50 yards, and here he lies. And I'm freaking ecstatic. Well, Last done. day magic. Well, well done. Well, I love well, it. Congratulations. Yes, sir. This is something we've hunted hard this past six, seven days. Yes, sir. It all came together. Yes, sir, it did. Thank well, you. Good Thank you. Good yes, sir.